turn this over. I have to decide which side is going up and how best. It's a lot of geometry. I have to figure out which side is going to be up and how which is which way is going to be best to get it up there. And uh, I mean, which face will be out and which way I'm going to be best be able to get it up on the wall. Uh, because once it's up there, I can't turn big boards very well. So, let's get this way. It's tiny up here, so I've got to really be careful. I don't want to drop the board back down into the living room. That would not be cool. Uh, and because the board fits tightly uh, up there, I don't want to rip my insulation. Interesting job. Hopefully, I cut it right the first time because I hate taking it out and doing it again. Uh, yep. Okay, there it is. Look at that. Oops. Now, since this is just a nailer uh, for the paneling, it's uh, doesn't have to be perfect. There's a gap down here because this other, you might remember when I was using a circular saw, I had a horrible time on this board. Now, the, the reciprocating saw is cutting one nice and neat, but now I've got gaps, so I've got to deal with that. Baby cat. What do you think? Huh? Now on the smaller pieces of boards and stuff, these smaller ones, I can cut around like I did in this and save me a lot of time. Now my wires, I pulled out because the wires are going to be on a piece of, under a piece of trim here, on the floor along the floor here, so they won't be visible when I'm done. But it leaves them exposed, so I can always extend, expand, and add two things as needed. All right, now get this top piece in here. Oh, I can't wait to have this study done so I can put shelves in here. I want to be using this place. Once these walls are in, I can start working because the, uh, the OSB will stay behind the bookshelves because once the books are on, you, you'll never see that OSB again. by 71 and a half. Back outside, cut a board. Now I've got a tape measure inside and I've got a tape measure outside. And I've got to bring my aluminum tape with me. All these staples in here have to first be straightened out. That's why it's Saturday. I only got one board done. I had so much else going on.
I'm so happy to have this wood. Without it, my house would really be taking longer and a lot more money. Because it would take longer because I'd have to save money to buy materials. So actually the work of doing this is making it a quicker job than saving up to buy wood. I just want you to see what I do out here because people, especially contractors and carpenters, can't understand why it's taking me so long because they're pros and they would have had this entire job done in a couple hours. They'd have probably had that whole upstairs insulated and finished in a couple hours. <clears throat> but it's a lot of work. I'm going to take off one of these to save myself time. Uh, one last cut. Anyway, it's a lot of work prepping this wood. And I think that's what they don't realize. And then staples sometimes rip the wood instead of coming up nicely. through terribly. I don't really want to do that. I don't like compromising the wood. So the sun wants to come out. Come on, don't rip through the wood. There we go. Yeah, and I can make my two cuts. And of course, most carpenters are not working with a camera. It takes time to go. Fold up the tripod, shut the camera down, close the lens, take it into the house, set it up, check your camera angle, find the uh, position you want to have it, hit record, bring your stuff in. Most contractors aren't doing all that either, so hopefully this will give you all an idea what's involved. But, if it wasn't for this reclaimed lumber, this free wood, my house would still be a frame on wheels. That would be it. So I'm very happy to have this available. I want to get two more sawhorses and set up a, a table on one side and uh, you know, mobile because obviously it rains all the time. I can't leave this stuff outside. But it'd be nice to have a uh, cut on the other side. Or mark on the other side. It'd be nice to have a table out here to hold my tools behind me.
actually I have that plastic table, but I don't want to wreck that. I use that for picnics and stuff and outings for church. That really nice plastic table I have. But I could get another one. Fold it up to use the workbench for the day. Collapse it when I'm done. That would certainly work well. There's squirrels in my tent. I can hear them bumping around in there. No more playing around with that circular saw. I'm done with it for now. Just wait. Keep that from, from falling. right there actually. Oh yeah, I can do this. Okay. takes to cut a piece of wood on the off-grid homestead. Prepping, cutting, cleaning, and we'll take it inside and put it on the wall. Live. Well, almost live. I've got to set up the camera.